to this channel love freaking metal but I was born raised weaned on freaking Dawkin and you know Van Halen and Rat and I was just like it, it just surged through my veins 24 hours a day and I loved it <laughs> so my bro Tim Pierce gave me this freaking pedal it's awesome and I combined it two together and it was like freaking total metal madness so it inspired me to teach a how to write like a metal song and it's not that hard but if you want metal songs click the link below and let me know what you guys want to hear because I, I love metal I'm not promising I can play some of it because those guys are freaking terrifying on guitar but I'll try I'll, I'll do my best I'll give it like a B plus <laughs> interpretation hopefully but anyways, I'm going to just run through and, and break down mechanics. Metal's just, you know, basically just jacked up blues with a lot of distortion. So let's go over some ways that we could create a metal song. All right, so to start it out, and excuse my blue socks, if I was truly metal, I'd have a hole and a bandana around my ankle. And then I'd totally get it, maybe, maybe like a leather boot over here or something. But when you're doing metal, right, you gotta start with we're already a little bit of distortion. You kick on the pedal that Tim Pierce is awesome enough to give me. Just what a freaking dude. Love that guy. So you go there, but then you're like, you know, that's that's pretty good. Great pedal by itself, but man, if you kick on a love pedal Kalamazoo. You've got total metal madness. And then, you know, throw in some delay. You gotta have delay. If you're doing metal, it's it's a must. Okay, so let's get on how to, you know, maybe approach writing a metal song. Okay, so as you may or may not know, almost all good metal songs are in like three keys. A, because it's freaking awesome. E, because it's extra cool. And D, because it's downright terrifying to play guitar in those keys. <laughs> it's really late and I'm going crazy, but I'm crazy for awesome rock right now. So, let's just do it in A. Now, you never break out major or minor in the beginning. They're all power chords, five chords. So you're just playing like the root and the fifth of the chord. So there's no like... That comes in the verse when it gets really emotional, depending on the band, right? So, we'll start A... C, D. Now, one of the things they do a lot, sus chord, that'd be taking your pinky on the B string, just going up a fret from, you know, if you're in a D chord, it would be the eighth fret. Right? And they also play like two notes at a time. So you'd hit the part of this D chord on the D and G strings. You can always add a little pinch harmonic to it, right? Okay, so we got. You always want to pedal back on this this A string. That kind of thing going. Okay, 
and you gotta shake. Like, try to really like pull the strings off of the guitar on some of those chords, because it, it, it just, I don't know, all the guys had the most wicked vibrato ever. And it's, it's tough, because they're so smooth. And it's tough playing with this much distortion, too, because there's a lot of noise. So you gotta kind of work with this hand, the palm muting is your friend. Okay. Now, G chords. Always gotta hit a G, no matter what the song is, because it just sounds big. They, lots of open strings. Play it a little bit out of tune if you can. Okay, so we got A. This is all hinting at kind of an A minor chord progression without actually even playing any major or minor chords. It sounds A minor, so it's going to be cool, right? <laughs> kind of thing. Right? So it'll be perfect for that. But we're talking we're talking rhythm right now. So you got So we've climbed up, we went C to D, then we basically went D to C. We're going to climb back up. Stay on D twice as long. Now here's where you add in the definite minor stamp. But they'll always have some sort of open sounding chord, right? So we're going to take F, I'm going to use my thumb, and I'm going to go the first fret on the low E, then I'm gonna have the third finger on the third fret of the D, and I'm gonna leave the G open. Okay, and you wanna do some heavy muting until you get down to that G string. And then you let them ring. And then we're gonna go to G. Now what we're going to do is a total textbook thing you do in metal. So we're going to go back to that C, go down one fret, guys whether it's like a Lynch or a Warren D Martini or all, you know Nuno all these just amazing guitar players right and I really will do them no justice so, so I'll just give you their names you can check them out they'll just go outside of a, of a normal pentatonic position so right there in position one five eight nine right and then do a normal pentatonic run. Right? And then they'll do something normal in blues, like hit the blues note. And then maybe walk down. get into the verse part. So let's go over something that you might hear in a metal riff. Okay, this is where they'll bring it down and kind of like just back maybe a lot of guys in metal, they either had to just like a crystal clean jazz chorus with some wicked chorus on it and it's sparkling clean or a lot of guys would just roll down their volume. Right? Because you still want a little bit of gain. <laughs> so what some of them will do is we would go, now we'd start playing our, our sentimental verse riff where we pull in the ladies and just have them begging for more by the time we get into the chorus, right? <laughs> Gotta make the chords kind of spooky sounding. So we got open A, then I go second fret D, and then I go fifth fret G. Then scoot up one finger, so we got... I'll go all the way up here, 
here because a lot of the riffs are climbing riffs. So we went second fret, third fret, fifth fret, and then we can go now to a G chord. All right, so we got. So you'll do that maybe twice and then go into something that starts rocking. So you have half soft, half hard. That sounds horrible. Verse wise, dynamic wise. Okay, so we got. Okay, we're going somewhere. Then we'll bring it back into minor. We'll go F, G, and then this is the chorus. So you want the chorus to be kind of similar to what you did. We'll use the same chords. Well, let's make something up. kind of mixing up use use the basic principles that we've done this far right you have the you gotta throw that in there you gotta throw in some palm muting with some open strings uh, and just go back and forth to stay down here make it sound cool you know a little vibrato on the chords right and then come into it all right, now for a solo. My favorite guitar players of all time when it comes to metal and hard rock, obviously Van Halen, because he's the man. He's like he's the game changer, right? Everything spawned off of Eddie. Then you have Warren D. Martini of Rat and George Lynch of Dawkin, Nuno Betancourt. If you just listen to those, I mean, obviously there's Motley Crue and all these other amazing bands, but if we're talking sheer technical mixed with soul burning ability, those guys are amazing, right? So what they'll typically do, again, like I was saying in the beginning, is is they mix melodic runs with blues, right? So if we're kind of in a kind of a thing that that hints it at A minor, so we might do like an A minor scale in there, right? Mix some hybrid blues runs. Right? Lots of vibrato. And then, you know... Just kind of 
kind of mix in holding on the notes try to pick you know one of the chord tones as it's going by and then you know milk notes don't be afraid of it. a lot of a lot of um half bends so long since I've played metal solos I'm it's tough you got to stay in shape right I've got I've got a like right now I'm, I'm if I'm if I was a, a person equal to metal I'd have a beer belly and I, I would be like huffing after the 25 yard line trying to trying to run <laughs> got to keep those runs in shape <laughs> But, you know, though a lot of legato. with that so anyways remember we got the core principles you come in strong you got the suspended chord you got going back lots of vibrato maybe a little uh you know pinch harmonic on there then as you're going into the the verse the walk down right if you got two guitar players one guy could do some kind of blues and switch the pickup Then we bring it down, roll the volume down, and then we'll do something picked. to the five chord to get into our chorus. Take those chords, mix them up, mash them up. You know, you can do a pick slide. That's a huge back in the day. You know those. That kind of stuff. Big vibrato, though. Mess around with the chords. Listen to some of that metal, man. I'm telling you, it's some of the greatest guitar playing ever. And, you know, yeah, some of it got ridiculous. But there's some guys out there. And, you know, some of the singers and just blank out everything and listen to the guitar some of the best rhythm guitar and lead guitar ever classic rock's great too country and all this other stuff but you know get a little of everything and then throw it all in one big mush pot and you'll be the happen kid on the block yes way to go now don't forget the link down below if you want some metal or whatever you want just let me know down there but you know we're since we're we're in the vein of metal and you can't say those two words together without thinking just total never mind <laughs>
You know what I mean if you grew up in that era. So anyways, thank you so much for watching, checking in here at Papa Stash 102. I love teaching you guys. You're amazing. Love the song ideas. Remember, keep it happy, keep it positive and fun. We just don't want to get along and be bros and sisters out there and have a good time playing music because, you know, what's better? I mean, I mean I'm mean, i sure maybe, you know, different people have different, but, you know, at the end of the day, would you rather be sitting at home doing nothing or sitting at home and playing metal <laughs> or rock or classic rock or country, whatever floats your boat, but today's metal, so catch you next time.